You know what? I heard there was a YouTube comment that sounded crazy, but I'm going to try it. And they said maybe for the DM, you could consider double binding, pulling out knife to W. That sounds ridiculous to me, but. Oh, that's so good. Because now any diagonal peek, it pulls your knife out. Oh, that's so good. That's actually good. That's I, I actually approve now that I'm trying it out. For your death matches, uh, JPC, add this into your death match. Just death matches. I wouldn't do this in comp. Extra bind to equip melee weapon, weapon to knife. Because it keeps you honest. This is this is good. This is good. This is good. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my official Discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin. Here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. Let's take a look. He was diamond last we talked, and now he is ascendant, which means we're doing something right. All right playing jet on haven it's lit here's his notes i need him to convince me that he's never touched grass in his life and try so hard that it's cringe because he was super lazy starting rounds offense away from the barrier he wasn't coordinating pre-round he wasn't adjusting to suboptimal comps and he wasn't keeping good crosshair placement when he didn't feel like there was a threat so let's take a look hello guys i was expecting to see a turbo sweat lord oh my god the enemy team has no trip I think we should just skip to defense to make sure we're playing against that first. Don't worry, we'll go back though. Okay, this round. Reina, can you come A with me? Just Here. uh you peek on the bottom, I peek on the top. We hold stay short together. Good day, hold, good day, hold. Wait, we lost? <laughs> what happened? What happened? They see this gun barrel, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen somebody playing that angle like that. That's okay. That's okay. Let's keep watching. Hmm. Nobody on the team is flanking at all. Man, we're getting creamed, though. Okay, let's watch offense first. Save this Ooh, this pathing's really bad. Your entry pathing is super suboptimal here, Flesh. So I, the master pathfinder, shall show you the way. Dude, what if they added pathfinder to Valorant? Like the rope grapple guy? Yeah, so first of all, you have your dash prepped here, and then you just run out and you peak angles like this. Second of all, you can't walk through this part. You can't. Because when you come through this part, you're exposed to two different angles that are 180 degrees from each other. If you want to peek them, you clear logs, you clear CT, and you come around this way so you can clear them both at the same time. See how this minimizes the risk we're taking on our entry? Entering this way is super dangerous because we have to aim like this. And who the heck can aim like that? I can't. We should have walked this way, but also we didn't dash at all. It's really strange. We, we primed it here. We should have like... Fast out, clear an angle, come out here, clear a front angle, and take our space. But if you watch yourself, here you are in the smoke, see long, with dash. There's the eye. 
What's the point? CT clear. I mean, that's the last You missed the dart. Two CT at least. Enemy's flanking. One I think one's in garage. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna give you the meta. So all that bomb's going down. You like old CT this way, you come up here and you're just gonna float over to this box. This angle's really good. And you can like hold garage, depending on which one you want to hold. So you kind of cover it from CT. This angle is really powerful in the post plant. This angle you're playing here is really uncomfortable because um, you don't have any vision of CT. They could have walked out backside right now and they can swing you from two different sides. It could be a guy right here. And he just shoots you or a guy over here. And it's really annoying to deal with that. Just stay short and then... And then if they're there, we just rotate to C or something and C. That call's interesting to me. You want to talk through A short, and if they're there, we'll just go C. M Here's my problem with that call, Flash. Why wouldn't they be there? Like, is your idea, oh, they're eco, they're probably stacked? Is that your idea? Okay, you're expecting a stack. Did you just peek a marshal with a specter? at like 30 meters what the hell is that just smoke the cross get your fade out of there you just took 101 damage for free okay okay good just back off here <laughs> Oh, you wish that guy would back off. In solo queue, you really do have to adapt to your teammates. Um, Mid-round, there's nothing you can do. This guy's pushing. You either need to accept that he's dead and let him just go for kills, or you need to follow him. There's almost no world you're going to get that guy to stop pushing. I would probably let him die. i just let him push till he dies, because you're so low. I think you might throw the round if you go with him. So I like what we're doing here. Two garage, two garage. One window, one main. Ooh, getting dangerous with our positioning. All right, I'm gonna give you the meta. One window, one. Back off here. So right here, while they're planting, what I want your comm to be is very straightforward. Is you just see if you like fade, play backside with me. I'm gonna be, and you try to get her to tuck there. You take some fights, and after you die, they think backside is clear, or vice versa. And the best part about this call is that if fade doesn't come backside with you, which is highly likely, this angle's still good. This angle's still good. It's a little tricky. You can play like this off angle type thing. And it's really good when you're lower HP. Okay, one flank from Garage. Raina's flanking. One flank. Raina got one CT. One nice swing with the fade. We make no noise all five C long. And then once Ooh. we see someone, we fully explode onto site. Oh my god. Five C. I love so this. We have an IGL. Oh, no smoke. They wall garage. If you jump pick that. Nice. All right, if you're super sweating, you try to trade this gun. We're going to call this strike one if you don't. Let's watch. I think we gotta call this one strike one flash. 30 HP, I think holding on to the Phantom is a bit much. Easy. Yeah, not dashing out is a repeating pattern, and I also got really anxious. I'm curious what's going through your head here when you pop dash, but you don't dash out. Right here. What's a strike one mean? Um, when I give players notes and they come back, if I feel they haven't adequately improved on the notes, I'll just throw their VOD away and we'll uh, send them back. They get three strikes. And here, I think um, at Flash's rank, recognizing he's 30 HP and he has a Phantom, he should be able to have the presence of mind to trade guns, the teammate. So since he didn't, I can only associate that to not enough sweat.
I'm pretty sure Flash is familiar with that type of concept. It's like baseball, except I throw 110 miles per hour pitches in Little League. Whoa! You, there's no way you just did a JPC peak. You just did a JPC peak. I'm having JPC fix these right now, and he's gold too. You don't walk up and diagonal around the corner like this and leave your crosshair in the middle. You peek one side and then the other side with A and D. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Flash? That doesn't look very sweaty. I might push on mid then. That looks quite lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, JPC cosplay. What the? Check his PC! What was that? That's strike two for that PK a lobby, by the way. No excuse, no excuse. Damn! Yeah, your call's not bad in principle, but in like practicality, your call's really bad. There's less than five seconds on the clock and you're saying two garage, three C. And then also who's garage, who's C. And also your cypher's trying to lurk A. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to back up. Zenzo, no, I do expect my students to magically get rid of the mistakes that I write down. They don't have to submit another Vaughn. I don't write down too much stuff. Flashes are quite difficult, though. I set his bar high because I believe in him. Yeah, the only bad thing about this round is the timing of our entry. It's not synced with our A short players. I've talked about this before. Uh, on Haven, one of the most common mistakes is you're going to come out main while your short players are here. Or they're going to come out short while your main players are here. And it makes the hit really awkward. And we're seeing that here. You've... You stepped on the gas a bit too early. We need these guys to scale up short first before we dash out. Dashing out early, it just pressures your short players into pushing a bit faster. And this type of thing can happen. It's more likely. Ooh. Why did he peek out? I think you're playing too passively, Flash. <laughs> I think um, this one's kind of on you. What are you What are you waiting for? Why do we have two people see long like this? Like, what are we trying to do? Because last time we tried to fake A, they push out. See? And you don't want to play this close to a corner if you're not going to swing. And then we just swung and crouched, and that's pretty ugly. You should have ran and gan that guy. I'm going to take him out. Okay, I want you to compare how you just walked into garage. He calls for Nobody's pushing garage. Look at this. Oh, 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 wait, no, we're dead. All right, I don't know who this Fabe player is, but I think she pushes garage. Yeah, she's radiant. Uh, I'm, I moved to... Uh, oh, what? Hey, perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm moved to, uh, I'll find you. I'm also going to do it. No, it's got nothing to do with the jiggle pre-fire that got hit, which was sick, by the way. It's about how we're walking in. Like this type of thing. This is all right. Here we just expose ourselves to that corner without clearing it at all. Here we just expose ourselves to that box without clearing it at all. 
on these like eco rounds with the sheriff when we haven't made contact anywhere yet you kind of have to be like robotic you know what i heard there was a youtube comment that sounded crazy but i'm gonna try it and they said maybe for the dm you could consider double binding pulling out knife to w that sounds ridiculous to me but oh that's so good because now any diagonal peak it pulls your knife out oh that's so good that's actually good that's i i actually approve now that i'm trying it out for your death matches uh jpc add this into your death match just death matches. I wouldn't do this in comp. Extra bind to equip melee weapon weapon to knife. Because it keeps you honest. Yo, yo, oh, wait. I actually need... Don't do it yet. Don't do it. Let, I need to verify that this is actually valid. Because I. it's hard for me to tell. Walking around in the custom, it felt... It felt right. It felt right. We're going back to Flash. Chill. This is relevant to the way he peeked this corner. The YouTube commenters are smarter than us. Yeah. Totally agree. I only death dream match. to be as smart as a YouTube commenter. Okay. So now you know, like, if I don't pull out my, um, knife, then you know it's all, um, A and D. This is, this is good. This is good. This is good. It definitely makes you pull out your knife too much, but it's actually really good because it forces you, like, there, I tried to tap it to adjust my peak a bit. This really forces you to A, D. Okay. Okay. Approve. Approve. I approve. Back to the fun. That is really good for the DMs. That's good for the DMs. Do not keep that for in-game, okay? Uh, but for DMs, that will really help you only AD peak. I, I like it quite a bit. All right, let's keep watching. So, like, here. You can even see it in, like, the way you're crossing. Like, right here. Look at this. You didn't even actually clear this angle. Look, there's no frame that you actually, like, stood still. Okay, surely Derek peaks A main, though. Yeah, he used a smoke there so he could deep peek it and come out fast. Yeah, and again. He's right. deep peeking out. And look how clean cleanly he can do this now with the smoke. Even here, I think you're WDing. I think you're moving diagonally right now. Which is not okay. It's not. I'll find you. Nice ass. Good entry, good entry. Brimmer's on site, Brimmer's uh, on site. Uh, bro, bro, bro. So you know there's one short that just kills your friend? Uh, what is that? You like doubled around too. One day long. Right there as well. What, you think the round's over? They could be holding you here. You just diagonal shift peak. Yeah, and eventually, because you peak every single angle like this, you end up peaking a guy. Like this. This is my least favorite type of advice to give, Flash. This is my least favorite type of advice to give, Flash. But you're trying to play macro. Your shot calling is decent. Okay. This point is, unfortunately, it's in your notes already, so I can't keep watching this VOD.